my name is Cassie and I'm part of the conservation education team here at the Racine Zoo. Today I wanted to share with you a really cool craft you can make out of plastic grocery bags. Even though a lot of us have switched over to using reusable bags, some grocery stores are currently not allowing you to bring them in. So if you find yourself with a bunch of plastic bags at home, please do not throw them out. They take up space in landfills and they can even end up in the ocean and harm sea life. So instead you can hang on to them until you can bring them to a place that recycles them or you can make them into these really cool bracelets. So today I'm going to show you how to make these. So the first step is take your bag and lie it nice and flat and then you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to fold it in half again. And now what we want to do is we want to cut off the bottom that's glued as well as the top with the handles. So we're going to go ahead and try to cut it nice and straight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the strips that we're going to be making the bracelets out of. So you can do these anywhere from one to two inches thick, depending on how wide you want your bracelet to be. I'm going to go about that wide. And once you end up with a piece like this, you can unfold it and it's kind of a loop shape. So you just got to take and snip one end. And now you have a nice long strand and this is what we're going to use to make our bracelets out of. So you can either do just a simple braid if you want to take three of these or the bracelet I'm going to show you how to make. You're going to take four of these and you're going to tie them all together. So once you have your four strands, I have four different colors here for mine, you're going to tie a knot at the top and then go ahead and either tape it down or if you have a clipboard like I do, you can just go ahead and clip it. And then we're going to separate out these strands just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start at the leftmost side. So I have this green one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross it over the second one, so this gray one. So I'm going to take my green one and I'm going to cross it over my gray one so that it makes the number four. Then I'm going to take and wrap the green around the gray just like that. And I'm going to take and pull it tight. You don't want to pull too tight because you don't want to rip it, but you do want it to be nice and tight. Then I'm going to do the same exact thing. Take my green one, make the number four, wrap it around the gray one, and pull it nice and tight at the top. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this green one again, and now I'm going to take this middle brown one, and I'm going to go ahead and make the number four, bring it around, and pull it nice and tight, make the number four, bring it around, and pull it nice and tight. And I'm going to do the same thing to the white one, take the green one, bring it around, pull it nice and tight. And you want to make sure you're doing those two knots on each one. So now my green one ended up over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start back at the left with this gray one. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to make the number four over the one next to it. Pull it nice and tight. And I'm going to keep on doing that. I'm done with the brown one. Next is white. Make the number four. Turn it around and pull it nice and tight. And then finally I'm over to the green one. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep going and do this for each strand, whichever one's always to the farthest on the left. And you can see there's kind of a pattern starting to form there at the top. And if you keep doing this for all of the strands, eventually you'll end up with a full bracelet like this one. So pick whatever color bags you happen to have lying around and go ahead and make your own bracelets and post them to the Racine Zoo Facebook page. Thank you.